Hey guys, here you can see a person wearing a pointy conical hat. You can clearly see how his hair ends here and he's wearing a long conical hat. This is a classic symbol of Anunnaki gods from the ancient Sumerian civilization, but this carving is found in Indonesia, which is more than 5,000 miles away. The name of this temple is Chandi Kalasan, and it's about 1250 years old. And you can see more carvings of these figures with conical hats. But right next to them, look at this carving. This immediately reminds us of an ancient astronaut because it has a round, transparent helmet attached to his head, very much like a modern-day astronaut. Today, an astronaut would be attached with a visor just like this. If you see people in various suits, we can definitely see details similar to this carving. You can see this guy has a headgear inside, and there is a giant helmet with a suit outside as well. Was he an ancient astronaut arriving from a different planet? There is one more detail that is crazy here. Can you see this earring? At first, I too thought that this was an earring, but you see on the other side, there is no earring, so it must be something else. And look at the weapon he's holding in his hand. It looks remarkably similar to an anti-tank grenade or a laser gun. Are we looking at an ancient astronaut with advanced weapons? Let's go back to the figure with the conical hat. See what this guy's holding? What is that? He's holding a strange device to his ear, a conical receiver kind of a device, much like the old telephones people used. And what is more fancy is that it appears to have a thick winding cord that is connected to it. Mainstream experts will try to dismiss this as a lotus flower, but let me show you how the sculptors carved the lotus flower in the same temple. This is how they showed the lotus flowers in this temple. What this guy is holding is definitely something else. But what is it? I searched online and found a couple of photos where ancient Egyptian gods are also shown holding similar conical devices. It looks very much like a modern-day microphone, but I'm not able to authenticate these two pictures. But what we see in this Indonesian temple is definitely reminding us of the same device. Interestingly, the Anunnaki are also shown with the exact same details. They're usually shown with conical hats. The reason for this is unknown, but they're shown again and again with elongated conical hats. On top of that, they're shown holding many weird objects and weapons. But the classic iconography of Anunnaki can be seen in this carving. For some reason, they're shown extending their hands and displaying this mysterious conical object. Is it a pine cone or is it some kind of a conical device? We don't fully understand the meaning of this, but this iconography is repeated again and again in Sumerian carvings. Here you can see an Anunnaki with the exact same beard and mustache holding the conical object, except this carving is found in this Indonesian temple 5,000 miles away. But one carving does not mean anything, right? Exceptions cannot be used as examples. So 
as I searched around, I found the exact same depiction again and again in this temple. Is this a mere coincidence? Or was there an Anunnaki presence in Indonesia? The Anunnaki are considered to be an ancient species who arrived on Earth many thousands of years ago. They are credited with civilizing humans and are mentioned in Sumerian civilization, which now exists in modern Arab countries. Did such a species really exist? Did the Anunnaki bloodline mix with humans and extend all the way to Indonesia? Do these carvings in Chandi Kalasan Temple really show the Anunnaki? In the central chamber, you can see this carving. You can see this circle in the center. And around it, you can see the small triangles attached on the outer circumference. This is a classic Anunnaki symbol of the sun. What you're looking at is perhaps the oldest carving of the sun, and this belongs to the Anunnaki iconography. You may think that it's only natural for all humans to show the sun like this, but it's not true. For example, Egyptians depicted the sun like this. But in Chandi Kalasan Temple, we can see the exact same iconography of the sun. Not only on this side, when I check the other side of the altar, I can see the exact same detail. How can the iconography be so similar to the Anunnaki? This temple's origin is shrouded in mystery. Archaeologists and historians are still trying to understand why such a temple was constructed. For a long time, experts and visitors simply assumed that this was a temple dedicated to Lord Buddha. As you can see, a bunch of carvings of Buddha, and you can also see stupas, which are Buddhist symbols. Then, they found an ancient inscription near the temple, which completely turned this upside down. The inscription said that the temple's name was Tara Bhavanam, meaning the house of Tara, not Buddha. Tara is a mysterious female deity and appears not only in Buddhist texts, she also appears in Hindu texts in multiple forms, both as a benevolent form and a fierce form depicted with a lion underneath her. But even more strange, Tara is not only mentioned in ancient Greek texts, but a similar goddess called Ishtar is also mentioned in Sumerian texts. And look at this goddess Ishtar from Sumer. She is shown with a lion underneath with a bunch of weapons on her shoulders, a remarkable similarity to the Hindu and Buddhist deity Tara. But don't forget the sun right next to her, a circle with triangles attached around the circumference. This is exactly what we see in this temple. The Indonesian archaeology department has definitely understood these odd details, which is why. You can see this plaque, which clearly says this temple is unique in the entire region and it does not fit in with other Indonesian temples. Archaeologists also confirm that it is one of the first temples to be ever constructed in the region and say the construction began in 778 AD. So even by mainstream accounts, this temple is about 1250 years old. That is very ancient already. But was this temple built at a much older time? Here we see Lord Buddha in a seated position, but that's not what caught my eye. Focus on the top right corner. What is that? It has a long, thick, pointy face and has a long, thick, stout tail as well. 
I don't have to tell you what it is because I know you're thinking of a dinosaur. It just looks remarkably similar to a dinosaur, right? It cannot be a bird because it's shown with more than two legs and it seems to be holding something in its mouth. Unfortunately, the carving has been eroded, so we cannot accurately find out what it is. But it clearly does not resemble any bird or animal we see today. Is it a dinosaur? Archaeologists say that this entire temple was once covered with a diamond plaster called Vajralepa. We don't know the exact composition of this plaster and how they made this plaster using diamonds. But you can see traces of this on some of the walls of the temple. Look, you can see some traces of this diamond plaster and you can also see these glittering spots. Are they traces of gold? Why else do we see such golden spots? on this plaster. Author Zachariah Sitchin wrote that the Anunnakis came to earth to obtain gold and they also used humans to mine gold from the earth. Here's the classic Anunnaki god Ishtar aka Tara shown holding a pot. This iconography is supposed to signify not only the presence of gold but also abundance and wealth. In this temple as well, we can see this stone pot in the main altar. Such pots are carved in ancient Buddhist and Hindu sites and are called kum. And we can see carvings of such pots all over the temple. Is it a mere coincidence or were these ancient civilizations interconnected? So, why do we see these figures with conical hats? Why is he holding a strange device with a thick cord attached to it? Is this an astronaut from ancient times? Why do we see these bearded figures extending their hands and displaying these pine cones just like the Anunnaki? Was there a connection between Indonesia and Sumer? during ancient times? Why do we see the exact same sun symbol carved in this temple? Why is this the only temple dedicated to Tara in Indonesia? Is she connected to the Anunnaki god Ishtar? Why do we see a dinosaur carved on this temple? Is this temple really 1,250 years old? Or was it built at a much older time? What about the traces of gold and the carvings of pots in this temple? Are all these mere coincidences? Or is the Chandi Kalasan temple in Indonesia somehow connected to the Anunnaki gods? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I am Praveen Mohan. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.